Good morning on what is a mild, bright and sunny day. It is um, Friday the 17th of March and I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea. A cat who is not ours and a box to continue unboxing. So, let's, uh, let's find out what we've got in here. Now, already pulled up one or two items. Big bundle. Oh, sorry cat. Just dropped the box on him. He's alright. It's quite a light box. So I've already pulled out this, which is the Pathfinder Core Rulebook, second edition, limited edition. Um, but the next thing from the box is this, which is the advanced player's guide for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, published by Paizo, and this is the limited edition. So, uh, very nicely, um, photo of the band book, um, and inside we have the introduction, and what it offers, which is more of everything. And as you can see, much like the core rule book, you've got this um, list of options um, on the opposite page in terms of new ancestries and classes. So you've got the cat folk, kobold, orc, rat folk and tengu ancestries. And um, below that you have uh, the new classes are investigator, oracle, swashbuckler and witch. Um, and then we delve into the ancestries themselves. Um, we're discussing options for general ancestries, what are their ver versatile um, uh, heritages, ancestry options, backgrounds, and more. So, cat folk. And in each case, what we've got here is an idea of um, the type of adventurers they are, society alignment and religion, and then you have um, heritages. So, for the cat folk, you've got clawed cat folk, hunting cat folk, jungle cat folk, and nine lives cat folk, and winter cat folk, and so on and then accompanied by a list of feats for the ancestries. So cat's luck, um, cat folk lore, cat folk weapon rake, and so on. Cat folk, and a little quick guide to cat folk adventurers there. And it's gonna do the same for each of the different, um, the different ancestries. So here we've got the kobold. Um, one of my favorite characters was a kobold monk when we were playing the Freeport setting. Um, so uh, um, he, she, it, we never quite uh, um, settled on um, a gender for, for my character, but um, they were a kung fu kobold. Uh, also got the orc. You've got the calf orc in the core rulebook as sort of like an, an option for the human ancestry rather than a standalone one. So more heritages uh, and, and so on and more rat folk including uh, Rat Folk Lady in a very fine dress, or a very bright dress. Tengu, if you want to play Bird Folk. Um, and then we have versatile heritages for, or ancestries for mixing them up. Um, and the options here are um, Changeling, you know, if you want to be one, a, a, be of one ancestry but brought up by another dampier um, essentially vampires plain as scions and not all of these are going to be in your you're going to necessarily want to want have in your game depends upon the setting um, but, uh, then we've got dusk walkers and tieflings Looking very demonic, but uh, dressed smartly in the in, in the preacher's um, uh, to robes. We have more ancestries for the core um, ancestries um, from the main rule book. So elf, dwarf, gnome, goblin, and more common backgrounds. So common backgrounds might be bandit, pilgrim, squire, tax collector. Um, and then we have rare backgrounds, so amnesiac, uh, feral child, haunted, returned, royalty. A bit more expansive, a bit more details on those 
um, they're going to impact, uh, have an effect upon the game um, more than the common ones probably will. Character classes, classes. So we've got four different classes there. Um, again, we'll start off with the investigator. Um, and in each one, you're explaining, you know, what will this class be doing during combat encounters? Um, your keen insights regarding your foes make you more dangerous than your physical strength would suggest. During social encounters, you stand up. You, you, you can stand up against your scrutiny and so on. Um, whilst exploring, you're looking for clues. In the downtime, you study up on subjects new and old and so on. Um, and then list the initial prof proficiencies down the side. Um, <clears throat> advancements. Um, abilities, um, feats, features, and so on. Um, and then you've got suggestions for ideas for, uh, you've got the investigator feats here, and then the options include, uh, let's see whether we do the same. Um, so you've got sample investigator, you have a coroner, which is great, you know, it's a fascinating sort of like character type to play, a chemist, and then you go on to the Oracle, and um, here you're discussing things like mysteries and ancestries, um, so it all depends upon the type of oracle you want to play, whether you want to play almost like a shamanic um, oracle or you want to go for something like um, an, um, an oracle of Delphi, so um, flame augur. We reading the flames, um, life bringer, and so on. So you've got different builds there, different suggestions. Squash Buckler for the player character who wants their fighter to be a bit more dynamic and, uh, and stylized in what they wear rather than just sort of like, you know, here's my armor, here's my sword, here's my shield, let's fight. Um, and options here, for example, you've got gymnast. Um, and the classic fencer, I mean, that's the one everyone's going to kind of think of. Um, but, you know, I'm sure pretty much you could build a pirate type character as well. Which. Uh, nice illustration um, with a seven-tailed fox there. Um, Hedwitch. <coughs> and then we have more on the alchemist. Um, so this is just more. This is just more for the. This is more more content for the um, core classes. So again, page for the barbarian and the bard. The champion discussion there of evil champions. So the cleric just more feats. Druid. Same again for the monk. So I'm just going through the different um, <clears throat> options, further options are just adding to the character. So for example, um, you know, you've got notes on there for the rogues racket, so they can be doing something, they can be running like a, a longer game rather than just doing an act of burglary um, or you know pickpocketing and so on. And then, uh, more for the sorcerer, we have more sorcerer bloodlines, genie, nymph, psychopomp, shadow. Fantastic the idea of playing a shadow sorcerer. Um, and then wizards. So just more options for the character. Um, uh, character classes, we have animal companions. So, you know, you can have... <laughs> Right, yes. Um, arboreal saplings, um, boars, riding drakes, sharks, scorpion companions, um, familiars. Uh, 
and then um, archetypes, building archetypal character type, uh, characters. Uh, so, you know, um, how to build an investigator um, involving multi-classing. Um, and same again, Oracle, Swashbuckler, how to do more um, with the character classes, how to be more flexible rather than just following them down the one path. Um, so, you know, how to build an assassin. Blessed One, Bounty Hunter. Uh, celebrity, um, dandy, I mean all fantastic options for your um, your campaign depending upon what you are playing. Um, <coughs> dual weapon warrior, duelist, <coughs> that already kind of picks up with the duelist you had with the swashbuck. Sorry, I need, need some tea here. <coughs> um, and then familiar master character who so like does goes around um, basically and um, works closely with um, with his familiar. So yeah, lots of different options here. Um, really quite you know you can really build some interesting characters. Martial artist, a maulist, a mauler. Sorry, um, a medic. Yep, there we go, there's the pirate. Um, and you've got things in here like the poisoner or the rich list, you know, probably not quite, depending upon the campaign you're, you're playing, um, you, you know, they would probably be NPCs rather than play characters, but their option is there. Um, so, Shadow Dancer. Um, vigilante, so lots of options in here, lots of ideas. Um, Vikings, uh, weapon improviser. <laughs> it reminds me sort of like the Feng Shui um, everyday hero type character, you know, who wouldn't, could never use a weapon really, um, um, more more than a couple of times before it would break and so on. Then we've got a big list of, of, of feats. Um, so, and then more spells, I mean spells obviously because you've got new, you've got, um, there's the spells, you've got new spells for the new classes, um, the witch and the oracle are basic spell casting classes, um, so yeah, they're all there, rituals, weapons and adventuring gear. It's nice if you've got in this book also you've got a couple of um, bookmarks, cloth bookmarks in there, just two of them. Um, so yeah, lots of new options. Um, and then a combined glossary and um, index. I, I really do like combined glossaries and index because essentially, you know, it's a case of you want to look something up um, and you'll just go, okay, you've got an explanation there on, on, the, on the page. You don't have to, you know, go to the actual page it references unless you, really, or unless you really need to. You know, you may well have the information already there. Mm. So, yeah, that is Pathfinder Advanced Player's Guide. Um, so, uh, lots and lots of options for your player characters um, and for building campaigns around and so on really good book I think you know for expanding it's expanding a campaign or um, taking things out of it and building a campaign around particular races and, and, and sorry ancestries um, and classes and the like so yeah that's the advanced advanced players guide for Pathfinder special edition anyway hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the look if you have please do click on the like button down below and of course if you've got any comments or feedback i do appreciate you taking the time to post those and lastly if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook where you will see me out here with a box um, containing a book or game uh, from which i will extract uh, in this case a book and unbo unbox it and um, chat about it to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea then please do hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. Be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.